I've seen and photographed some cool things on this channel, but what happens when I don't see anything? I've been to Point Mouye State Game Area many times. I've never had a bad outing there. It's located where the Huron River meets with Lake Erie, creating a perfect mixed habitat of shoreline, marsh, and river. The park is divided into lagoons by large dikes that make up most of the walking area. As you can see, it's, it's pretty open land here. All marsh, a few ponds, there's the river few swans out there. This is a hot spot for bird activity during the migratory seasons. However, we've missed that. Um, fall migration is marked by hunting. Spring migration happened before I started this video blog. So I've been out here a few times. Um, incidentally, I filmed my first episode here, uh, the, the lost episode. It's, uh, it's the day I realized I needed a microphone and that, uh, that the wind can really screw with audio recording. Uh, that day was cut short by coyotes. And uh, so, you know, it never made it, never made it to YouTube. I found some footage from that lost episode. Coyotes are easily in my top five list of animals not to mess with. They're relentless hunters. Do you hear that? There's coyotes. Whereas other larger predators may give up on a hunt due to difficulty or even injury, a pack of hungry coyotes have been known to fight their prey to the death. Even so, I would have much enjoyed seeing one today. So there's a wide range of animals, birds, everything that comes through here. Um, so we've got a wide range of outcomes, especially given the, the cold here. Uh, most of the water is frozen over, and that reduces the amount of livable habitat around. So uh, best case scenario, we run into some coyotes, maybe some owls. Uh, worst case scenario, shooting landscapes, because <laughs> I don't see anything. Actually, none of those scenarios came true. The light was a little too harsh to take a satisfactory landscape, and I did not come across much in the way of wildlife. Today would be a cold and windy reminder that there are no guarantees in wildlife photography. The sun's come up, and I've been, uh, well, I can't really say chasing, but uh, these birds out here, there's a flock of about 300 waterfowl that I can't identify because they won't let me get close enough. I'm walking and they're staying the same distance ahead of me. Obviously very shy, very aware that I'm here. Uh, but that's, that's about all that's happened. There's another 20 or 30 swans here. There's a few more over there. <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, further proof that life exists in this area. <sighs> Poo. This is, uh, this is coyote dung. And you can tell it's, it's full of hair. They've been trying to catch squirrels and whatever they can around here to eat. It's relatively fresh, if not frozen, but uh, that's good news. It means that uh, they're, well, coyotes aren't going to stay somewhere where they can't eat. So um, if the apex predator is still around, that means that basically everything under it on the food chain is around in some form or fashion. It's important to pay attention to everything when looking for wildlife. Basic tracking skills are your best bet most days to find out where your subjects like to hang out. 
while we're on the subject of poo, I want to help you out with a little tracking advice. This here, coyote dung. Looks like dog poo, but uh, you can see it's full of hair, full of fiber, that sort of stuff. It comes with the territory of having to skin your meals with your teeth. This is dog poo. Same size, same shape, same consistency, but notable absence of hair, feathers, fiber, because people feed their dogs dog food. In a place like this, that is used primarily by duck hunters, you see a lot of folks with their hunting dogs out here, either training or using them. It's not uncommon to see dog do like that. Uh, so, it's one of those little things you can, uh, you can tell if you're in coyote territory or hunter territory or both. <laughs> but uh, as, as gross as it is, it's really important to know your poo and uh, that'll give you a leg up when you're trying to find something to photograph. Yet more encouragement. Oh, we have fresh deer track here as well. I haven't seen anything since those swans. Might as well be walking around somebody's backyard, but uh, you know, there's still things around. They're just not visible right now. I did, <laughs> I did catch a glimpse of a bald eagle flying way, way out there show you the picture as it looks like that's the best I'm gonna get today coming out of the trees here to a boat dealership and then I will walk that road back to the car and that's gonna be the end of today's adventure it's uh, three hours well spent but uh, not much to show for it so there you have it this is, uh, this is roughly how 25% of my photo trips go. There's just nothing to see. Uh, really, barely any proof that I went out except for the, you know, muddy shoes. Um, and, uh, and that's to be expected. Uh, wildlife photography is not easy. It's difficult and that goes against the general idea that it is relaxing. It is relaxing. I find it therapeutic myself, but um, it's relaxing in the way that a, a difficult crossword puzzle would be. You're not always going to get it, but the joy has to come from the process, not the end result. If you're looking for just great photos, you're going to be disappointed, frustrated, to a point where you're eventually just going to quit. You have to enjoy the process. You have to enjoy uh, the hike, the scenery, the the breeze, right? You have to really want to be out, and that makes you want to go out. Um, and you never see anything unless you go out. So the more you go out, the more you see, and it just follows that you'll get better photos when you see better things. Um, so normally I have a big happy ending there's generally something cool that I've seen uh, that a lot of that comes from the power of editing um, you know it I distill my three four five hour hikes down to eight to ten minutes for you guys and you know this this you don't see a lot of the work I don't want to say work but uh, you don't see a lot of the boring middle bits you know you get the filling, not the pie crust. It's easy to focus on the end result in this game. A beautiful photograph is a worthwhile goal, but I see the photograph as just the end result of a game well played. Great encounters and experiences are my victories. The photograph is merely the trophy I get for winning. <laughs>